Hey, in this episode, what are we doing? We are recreating the iconic Golden Arches French fries, cowboy style, and oh my gosh, they so good, and we got a secret seasoning that goes on them right at the end. Hurry, because I'm going to be first in line at the chuck wagon drive-up window. Hey, thank y'all for dropping by camp today. Whoo, it is a great day, and folks, y'all don't know how much sleep that I have lost trying to do this recipe. It haunts me in my dreams when I would wake up at night. How long have you been working on this? Over a year. <laughs> Over a year, I'd get tired of french fries, wouldn't even order them. I would ban all the potatoes from even coming in the house. But folks, I have figured it out. Now, McDonald's recipe got like 19 secret ingredients that it's got like locked in a safe in a dungeon under rocks guarded by the dragon that was on Game of Thrones. I mean, you are not going to get in there and even find this recipe, I promise. But I'm going to walk you through the tips, the tricks, and the steps that I use to get the perfect french fry. And we got a seasoning there at the end that just shoots them over the top of the moon. Well, we start with russet potato. Now, McDonald's claims that they use three different kinds of russet. Here at my grocery store, we lucky do we have one kind of russet, and it's the kind you got to peel. Now, I recommend you get you one of these here french fry cutters that's got this little blade here in the front, and you mash them through there. That way, everything is uniform in your fry time. And folks, these things, there'll be a little link down there below where you can get one because mm, they do save some of this. Get them peeled. Sometimes you got to mash harder than you think they are. And that's one. You're going to have to have somebody that's got a little energy to be able to do that. And you can see how these are stuck together. And if Shan comes in here, see that white that's already getting there on them potatoes right there? That is our enemy. You know what that is, Shan? That is starch. We cannot have starch on nothing but our brand new jeans and our shirts. So we got them to that point. The next thing we need to do is we need to rinse them really well first. Two times I recommend this. So remember the space helmet from the hash brown video? Pour them in there. What I do now, I recommend that you not do in the house because you will get in trouble. Ice water. We're going to make sure that we give them a shake because you don't want nobody stuck together. So it's raining, Mage. Now, some of them might have been sticking together. So we're going to pour some of this right in there. We're going to dump them back in here one time to where we can get them all spread apart. And I would say this was like maybe three servings of French fries to normal people. But to me and Major and the Big, it's about one and a half. So get everybody in there. Make sure that nobody's sticking together because that's just starch that's going to cling to each other. Then we'll run them back through the space helmet and we'll call it good for a minute. As them potatoes is sitting there and continue to drain what little they are there, we need to mix up a brining solution. What? You're thinking, we're not got no turkey in this video. We're not brining no meat. Hey, this brine is gonna help draw some more of that starch out of there because the more we get out of there, the crispier them fries are gonna be. So we're gonna start with some more ice water. Uh-huh, I'd say about that much. To that, we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. Yep. To that, we're going to add two capfuls of white vinegar because that's going to help draw some of that out too. There's one and there's two. But all brining solutions must have salt. So we got to have some of that in there. Come on, come out of there. And I'll have to measure it this way. That is the correct amount right there. But folks, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Now, McDonald's used to fry all their fries in a beef tallow mixture. Give them that beefy flavor. Well, that stuff's hard to come by in my part of the woods, and I've experimented with different things, but I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Here it is right here. See this little Ooh, beef. granulated beef bouillon. So one package is gonna go in here, and don't ever quit me on this, because folks, we got a twist there at the end that's gonna blow your mind away. So get that stirred up well. Go ahead and give your fries another shake. Dump them in there, all of them in there. They're covered with some ice water. Make sure that nobody is left sticking out of the water because you want to make sure they're covered well. Now all we got to do is cover the dish, set it in the ice box for at least two hours. 
and then we'll drag them out and mm -mm, I'll show you a process to begin the perfect French fry. Two hours they sit in that ice box chilling and grilling and chilling, but they ain't going in the grilling because they're going in the frying. That's what I be trying. Did you see how that all came out, Shan? What's the first thing you look for when you get out of the shower, Shan? The towel. Yes, uh-huh. Just like these tater. Y'all remember the saran wrap and how it be blowing in the wind not, all, all the time? It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for the drying of the potatoes. Now, you could say, well, that looks pretty good right there. If we don't scatter them out, get them one by one, they ain't going to get dry. So just go ahead, whatever you got to take up on the counter space and get them all dried out because we need them to be separated. There's no talking during this time. Now, while we're doing this, we have preheated our oil slowly. The oil we're starting out with today, canola oil. Now, we're going to get it to an even temperature of 300 degrees. And let's check and see. Everybody's looking pretty, pretty happy and peaceful out here in Mother Nature's kitchen. I have something that y'all aren't going to have probably in the house and that is a little breeze to help these dry out. So I'm gonna leave them here probably two or three minutes to let make sure that they're dried because that is a big thing. You never try to fry something wet because you're gonna get snap, crackle, pop, blowing back in your face and everything that goes on with it. So make sure, and if you have any stragglers in there that don't look the same, throw them out because we don't need them. We need everybody to have the same cooking time, everything. Just make sure that they ain't nobody sticking together and everybody is good. Dried out they are, and folks, there is enough here. Don't overcrowd the swimming pool. I want you to do this in batches. We have heated the oil to 300 degrees. Now, people be saying, you don't deep fry a potato at 300. You deep fry them at 350. Wrong on both accounts when making the perfect french fry. Yeah. So we're going to fry these once at 300, and then we're going to refry them again here in a minute. So let me get these first bunch of contestants in there. The timer is started. We're going to go five minutes at 300. Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, they're just going to soak up a lot of grease. No, they're not. That's what that brining solution always helped. So also helped with is we're not going to get that penetration of all that old greasy fry that's just laying in there. Well, we pulled them all out of there after they had a five minute fry at 300 degrees. Then I went back and I added me about a cup of good Manteca lard in there. What? Changing oils? Yeah. That's why we're going to get a better fry at a different temperature with that lard in there. So do this in batches. Hey, we're going to drop these in there. It don't take them long to cook the second time on the refry. So put you some in there. It's at 400 and about 15 degrees. Make sure you run a little hot because when you put them in there, it's going to cool off automatically and probably get down to about 410, and that's where I like to try to stay. Now, it's not going to take long to crisp them up or brown them up. It happens pretty fast, usually within a minute or a little bit under. They change colors pretty quick. didn't take long it didn't i mean it fries up pretty quick that first round around and look who come venturing over thinking that maybe so it was time to eat been having a nap have you said well mage has been through with me and all this french fry ordeal and mage loves uh where you at mage he love a french fry he said oh them is so good dad there is the big sadie have you ever had a french fry you got one now i can hear the crunch on that one Sadie. so I want you to let them cool, put them on a wire rack before you ever get ready. And when they come out of there, you see me mix up this seasoning, some of our original and what? That beef bouillon granulated in there. Cause 
Remember what I told you that McDonald's used to fry all theirs in a beef tallow? Well, this here is gonna give it that beefy flavor that we love so much. This one here is damaged. Oh, you can hear it. I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> I lost that one. Mm. If I just had me one of them little cardboard boxes, you know, and stuff them in there and it had Cowboy Kent Rollins' name right there on the back, we could pass them out the pickup window. You know what I mean? We'd be good to go. Mm. Big Jim is so good. Don't let me step on your toes. We finna do, first, when you harvest a potato, you got to do it. Stick it in the shovel and throw it in the pile and stick it in the shovel, throw it in the pile and mm, mm, got to fry them. Feels so good. I'm even going uh -oh. to give you one of these today. French fries. You gotta love them. My puppies love them. Everybody love them. Well, we hope y'all enjoyed this. We really do because, hey, what is better than a good French fry? And like I say, I've been working on these over a year and a half to get it right. And folks, they are right. You can tell the folks at McDonald's, the cowboy done them the Big Mac and now he done the fries. I hope he ain't fitting to open up a fast food restaurant. I am not. And I appreciate McDonald's. I do for serving them good fries and all that food. But as always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept this old country safe and that old flag of flying. What a better way to start off a new year than with french fries and knowing that them folks is gonna protect us too as we go around and eat them french fries. So hey, it don't get no better than that. Rest of you, come on in here and I'm gonna give you a big old hug. Mm. And I'm gonna see you down what? The crispy twice fried Cowboy Kent Rollins French Fry Trail. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Fries. They're good. I'm not going to quit eating them. We look forward. Floored. Okay. Big. <laughs> you want some french fries. Nope. Say nope. Hey folks, don't quit me and the pups now. If you enjoyed this remake from McDonald's, you might want to check out the Big Mac and what? The Egg Muffin.